As I mentioned in the last video, I take insulin now. I take 10 units every morning. Uh, I am on Novolin N, like I told you guys. Here's the bottle. And it's supposed to be cloudy. Because that's how it works. It's a long-acting insulin. It's not a fast-acting. So, to get it started, what you do is take it and turn it upside down gently. Don't shake it like this. Because it'll make air bubbles. And you can get the wrong dosage. And there's another way I do it too. Turn my hands like this. Make sure I got it good and mixed up. But do it gently, of course. Let's make sure mine's good and mixed up. Okay, now that it's getting mixed up, since I don't have, um, you know, the pads, I take my alcohol and I put it on a cotton, cotton tip, or cotton, cotton ball, cotton ball there, and you wipe the tip of it off, like so, you get it clean. And you take another cotton cotton ball. Put it on this since I'm done with it. Take your other cotton ball. And there's my belly. We're gonna go to the belly today. Pinch it up some good skin, of course, in different areas all the time. Like yesterday I did it over here, so today I'm going over here. Here's the insulin syringe. There are certain types of syringes you have to buy. Um, this one is a U-100 only. And you use it only one time. So you take the yellow tip off. There. Take the yellow tape off. Turn your insulin upside down. Insert your needle. Push the air in from the needle from the needle into it. And then you draw out ten units. And you remove it and check it to make sure that it is 10 units. You see that black plunger? Where it stops at the 10, the top of it, which is this right here. Not that down there, that's empty space between there and there. That's where the 10 is. Double check it, make sure there are no air bubbles. Now you just tap on it a little. Check that area of stomach. Hurry up and go in with it. And you press down. To make sure that the medication goes where it's supposed to go. That one kind of hurt because I went too slow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that kind of hurt that time, but, yeah, you press on it just a little bit, you know. I don't care if y'all make fun of my stomach, I'm trying to be, trying to educate y'all on how to do insulin. Of course, ask your doctor if you're on insulin how to do it, because every insulin is different. Uh, yeah.
for you press on the area do not do do not do this we're not trying to scratch anything we're trying to rub it in you just want to press it so the first step in taking your blood sugar is to wash your hands in warm soapy water then you get your meter out um, you get your test strips ready. I guess I'll be able to show you guys this part. Take my lancing device. I pick a finger, any finger. It didn't go through. Pick a different thing. Yeah. Right. So you put the blood in. Heard it beat. Like your finger. And the sure we get is 81. Which is very good for a diabetic. It's very good. So, if you've been asked by your healthcare professional to write your results down, get out your logbook, write the date, which today is the 13th. Let's see. 81 at 928. Let's see. 10 units of insulin in my regular pills, which is glipizide. Take the strip out. And there you go. Okay. That is what I do every single morning when I get up. I take my blood sugar and do my insulin 10 units a day.